So my name is Gordon, Gordon McAdam. I am uh, the owner and founder of Combat Arts. This is my good friend and training partner, Tony Webb. So today we're going to go through a couple of little tips and tricks about, that might help your Thai training or your kickboxing or anything that has that um, close contact and interactive bit. Um, so first part we go through is when we're here, we oh, very often we get into this kind of tussle and in the street, yeah, there's, there's really that violent moment. Yeah, we're, this is up because people usually start with this kind of thing. Yeah, so we wouldn't get used to being in that space yeah, without actually getting too formal on it. So how we're going to train it is we're both going to put our arms out long and I'm going to try and control that central area. And Tony's going to try and control this central area as well. So it's a bit like if you ever play chess, there's a four main squares, certainly at beginner level, where you want to control that and then you dominate the rest of the, the, the board. So with this, Tony wants to control the inside, yeah, and I'm trying to get through, and I'm trying to make sure that I can either control this or I can come through and control the inside. The moment I get to the inside, so if I let Tony do it first, so if I'm here, he's getting contact. Now he's just going to slide down my arm. Yeah. So he's not going to disengage and try and get me. He's going to literally slide. If I do it to Tony, if I try and break, if I bring this off to go and hit, he's just going to hit, or he's going to drop an elbow on. Bang. Yeah. So when we're going to, first part as we go here, we just try and play with this and just get control. Obviously what you want to be is you want to be tucked. You want your center of gravity, because if I go straight, and straighten my spine. If Tony moves anything, then it's a kind of disconnect. When I go here and Tony tries to move me, then I've got my mass, it's like centered, yeah? So at this part, I'm playing and I'm going, I roll. Yeah, and then Tony will roll. Yeah, good. And our energy is going in the way, yeah? In a second, we're gonna go into another part of it about how you actually come into head control. So the, full, the whole motion is gonna look play, play. So this is the drill. And the moment I'm on the inside, I'm gonna bang, spank in and hit, straight into head control, and then I'm gonna go into knee and drive, okay? So part one, we're playing, and I'm controlling. Is it real? No, it's really artificial, but it's real enough. Yeah, because otherwise we need, to, we need to be doing this all the time. And he's not going to let me do that. He's going to go, one. Well, he's going to elbow, bang. He's going, yeah, but, so the drill is to get used to this bit, yeah, so that we can get in, in, yeah, and get through all that using our whole body, yeah. So we play this, we don't disengage. If I disengage, I get spanked, yeah. And I don't try and control here all the time because he'll fold into an elbow, yeah. I want to be in the middle. And every time one of us disengages, yeah, if I kick it off, bang, so he's going to come straight in. Okay? So that's the first part of it. You can take it a little bit further by moving into it. Yeah. So I want to use my body to control how much you're going to get through there. So this is actually really quite hard work. It's a good training way. And the other bit about it is we're getting used to this unpleasantness. Yeah. I'm, just my opinion, but I think a lot of people do martial arts and they're in the wrong ranges because a conflict starts from here and it's pretty soon it's right in here. So if we can train here, we can get used to you know, what we can do. Yeah, so that's part one with it. As always, go safe, go gentle, gradually bring it up.